the right to work law will stand for now after a Madison judge denied a request to block it. The hearing was held at the request of three unions seeking a temporary injunction blocking the law. Attorneys for their unions argued the law is unconstitutional, saying it is the seizure of their property. They argued it allows workers who don't pay union dues to still receive union benefits. Attorneys for the state say the law is constitutional because it technically doesn't take funds out of union coffers. While there may be reasonable grounds to think that the plaintiffs can succeed on the merits, I have questions about whether there's an adequate remedy at law, and I'm not persuaded that, the, that there is irreparable harm in allowing Act 1 to go into effect as scheduled. In response to the judge's denial of the temporary injunction, the AFL-CIO issued a statement expressing concerns that right to work will drive down wages and weaken safety standards in Wisconsin. And Attorney General Brad Schimmel says he remains confident the right to work will be upheld as constitutional.